all right guys welcome back to my channel today i went to cinnabon they have it in the mall so i got a i think it's called like a chocolate latte or, or chocolate to latte or something i never tried this before so it's really sweet it's like tastes like hot chocolate <laughs> And I got a Cinnabon. I, I, now I controlled the white icing, but I decided to get the caramel with pecans. So a close up on that. It looks amazing, guys. So here's a close up on my pecan caramel Cinnabon. Looks pretty good. I think this um, ice mocha is really sweet. When I had the ice vanilla latte at Carter, I thought that was really good. This is really sweet. If you love, love sweet drinks or hot chocolate, it reminds me of a hot chocolate mocha latte. That's really sweet though. And this video, before I forget, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jessica Porter. Thanks for watching my video, Jessica. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to eat this. I think I need a fork. That's okay, I got a fork right here. Work and knife. I was having something sweet. Let me guys tell you why I went to the mall today. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. Yeah, let's try this out. And also had an interesting cold experience yesterday. I could talk to you about that too. That was good. Mmm. Really good. I don't even know if there's coffee in there. <laughs> it doesn't taste like coffee. So anyways, why I'm at the mall today. I'm going to tell you guys. As you guys may or may not know, there's a trend on YouTube going out right now. Reviewing the first, re reviewing the first restaurant in your city. So I thought, I'm going to try that. Wanted to do it for a few weeks, but I've been really busy and tax. I finally, guys, I'm so happy. I did my taxes today. Finished them. I'm so excited. Apparently, I don't make that much money in my business anymore that they're classifying that as a hobby. So I'm actually getting money back. I only have to owe $44. And normally I have to owe between one to 2000 because of my business. But they're saying I don't make enough money that they're classifying as a as a hobby. I guess that's good for me, right? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, anyways, today I reviewed the worst restaurant in my city, and that city is in the mall. I mean, that restaurant is in the mall. It's a Mexican restaurant. People were saying they'd thrown up after they ate. The meat tasted dry, it wasn't very fresh. Honestly, guys, I went there, it wasn't really that bad. <laughs> I wanted to like, you know, it was, it was, it was like, I would get, probably get three out of, three to five for a restaurant review rating just because it's average food, but there's no salsa bar. I didn't get any, I didn't get really get any salsa for most of my items. You know, I love having salsa with Mexican food. So that was really fun to do. Re I want to do another review too. Another worst restaurant. Because I was a little disappointed. The food wasn't really that terrible. Like it, I wanted it to be really bad. <laughs> it really wasn't. Not bad at all. So, did that today. That was fun. So 
So I, I, I decided to experiment with the mom. I would just do a Cinnabon review video. I was wanting to do one of these videos for you guys. I actually did apply it to Cinnabon, but they didn't recall me back. So I guess because, maybe because I have a, I actually think my job right now is better than all the jobs I applied for in the past. So. So probably start editing that video of the worst restaurant re video tonight. I don't think I'm gonna get sick, but I might just, yeah, I might review it. Um, I might do the, I might edit it tonight. But if I do get sick, I will probably let you guys know if I get sick or not. <laughs> so. So yesterday I'm going to tell you about my clothes experience. It was interesting. It was different. <laughs> so what happened is, Mom, my, what happened is I had a gift card. Somebody gave me a gift card for $25 for Kohl's last Christmas. I finally used it up. So the cashier, she was, a, she was an older lady. I would say if I had a guess her age, around 50. And she was like, hey, do you want to set up for a Kohl's card? She's all excited and happy and smiling. I'm like... Oh, uh, no, that's cool. I'll just pay my credit card. Are you sure? You can save 30% off. And you, that's a, you can use your gift card and save an extra 30% off. And I'm like, and I was like, you know, I'm going to tell the truth. You know, the reason why I not signed up for a Kohl's car credit card is every time I get a bill from Kohl's, I just never pay it on time. So it's like, I always have to pay late fee. I don't know what it is. I just cannot pay bills on time. When I, if I, I like them, I like when people they deduct it automatically from my checking account. I just, I don't know. I just, I was always late. She's, oh, well, you can just pay it for. You can pay the bill right now. Like really? Yeah, right after you pay, you just pay the bill. Like really? Okay, maybe I will because I save thirty percent off anyways. Yeah, and she was like, yeah, just don't, don't let me forget about um. The gift card, just remind me, I'm like, okay, but, so she's like, oh, darn, I forgot to take the gift card off. Darn it, you going to go shopping today? If you do, you can save um, an extra 30% all day today. I'm like, no, nah, this is all my shopping I want to do today. I just got a couple items, you know. And I didn't, you know, I know she asked me to remind her about the gift card, but I was, I thought she would tell me the price first, or I thought she would, like, tell me to pay, or I don't know, for some reason, So I thought I was going to pay for it anyways. And she is so, so she gets the manager over and, and she says, you know what, we, you have to take, the only way that we, the only way we can, you know, do the gift card, um, is you have to go all the way upstairs and they have to refund it and do it all over again. She's like, we, we can't do the register. So I'm like, okay. So I go all the way upstairs. <laughs> And get my refund and then they had to repurchase it and then I got my gift card uh, and then I was able to pay everything off there on my other credit card because I if they mail it to me I just know that I'm just I just forget I first forget to um, mail it in you know so <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, I wasn't really upset about it, and, you know, because I know, I work in real tell now, so I know. I forget things, too, as a cashier, it's just easy to forget things, so I wasn't really upset. She was really nice, the cashier was really nice. Um, I was actually very calm yesterday. Anyways, guys, I have something to tell you. I bought something today. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's called CBD oil. This is what it looks like. Have you guys heard of it? 
I got this at a nutrition store in my area. I think this is on sale. Yeah, it cost me like $17, normally $22. So it's called CBD oil. It's supposed to help with physical pain, help boost energy. It's supposed to help reduce anxiety. I feel a lot of different benefits, you know. I've been having this shoulder pain. I don't know if it's a nerve pain. I don't know. It's going down my arm. I don't know if it's like an emotional thing or like it's actually pain. I'm not really sure. But um, if I know some pain can be emotional. So let me know, guys, if you ever tried CBD oil. I was actually at work the other night and this cashier told this other cashier over her say that she put the CBD oil like on her feet and then within 30 minutes her feet was was wasn't in pain anymore and she says it cost 30 bucks but it was totally worth the 30 bucks and um i don't know i got the oil i know you're supposed to put it in your mouth but maybe i should have got the um the cream for your you know put it on because i'm having some shoulder pain so maybe i should just do that i might go after this i might go back there and get the cream version um but yeah i'm just curious if you guys ever had the cbd oil i am sent a new i'm gonna try out they say with the oil supposed to put it like a few drops in your mouth or something and before bed because it makes you kind of sleepy or relaxed or something so and for that A lot of pecans. Definitely a lot of pecans. A lot. So I guess I'm getting full. A few more bites. I had some Mexican food. I didn't even eat, eat everything. I just had like the second taste test, you know. <laughs> but I got three different items. I got a burrito, a quesadilla, and one um, one taco, like one little mini taco. So, but I didn't, eat, I didn't eat everything, but I'm still pretty full from that. Right. I might eat too much. I want to have a healthy dinner tonight. I might make some meat lo meatloaf. I'm not really sure. I tried this meatloaf one time a few weeks ago. I found this recipe on YouTube. It was really good. So the next time I make meatloaf, I'm going to do like a little video for you guys. I'll show you how to make it. It's with the um, on top because you basically bake it, and then on top of the meatloaf, you put like ketchup, I think honey, or maple syrup, and something else, and it's really good. It's really good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next video. Peace. Hey guys, I forgot to tell you, um, if you want to see that video of the worst restaurant review in my city, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks. Peace.